Bible verses about casting out spirits. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Matthew chapter 12, verses 43 to 45. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James chapter 4, verse 7. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark chapter 16, verses 16 to 18. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Luke chapter 10, verse 17. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preacheth. Acts chapter 19, verses 13 to 16. And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him, and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. Mark chapter 3, verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. John chapter 14, verses 11 to 12. And in the synagogue there was a man, which had a spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him, and hurt him not. And they were all amazed, and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commandeth the unclean spirits, and they come out. Luke chapter 4, verses 33 to 36. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel, possessed with a spirit of divination, met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. The same followed Paul and us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 18. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but prayer and fasting. Mark chapter 9, verse 29. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him, and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic, and sore vexed, for oft times he falleth into the fire, and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, 
How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart, and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Matthew chapter 17, verses 14 to 20. And John answered him, saying, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and he followeth not us, and we forbade him, because he followeth not us. Mark chapter 9, verse 38. And they brought him unto him, and when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming. Mark chapter 9, verses 20 to 21. And cried with a loud voice, and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjured thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. Mark chapter 5, verses 7 to 8. 